we have out of New York. He okay. puts a lot of thought behind every time he goes to move around with his B reverses, anytime he's trying to wave bounce something, anytime there's an item in his hand, like he feels the flow of the match, but he just knows what to do in so many different situations that he's able to mix up so much with what he wants. I feel like character choice is going to be very, very important for DeBuzz because Olimar is going to die super early to 11 aerials and smash attacks, of course. Yeah, I wonder if we see the the Olimar or the Rosa opening here for DeBuzz. He, those are pretty much his two go-to characters, and he's definitely shown that he's not afraid to use Rosa, even though she's not considered one, one of the better characters of the game. Most people would put Rosa in like a, a mid-tier right. character. So, but I mean, he's still just really good with the character. You, know, you played the character for four years throughout Smash 4, so definitely going to, that's, a lot of those things are still going to carry over. Out of all of the New York players, DeBuzz is the least likely that I would have picked to have become the uh, the mid-tier hero of New York, Yeah. considering true. the likes of what we have, but he is definitely not afraid to pick into Rosalina and Luma as needed. And there's a lot of value to those two when fighting against Robin. We're not going to see it just yet, though. Olimar leading off the pack. As long as the buzz is really specific with his own landings, with how he controls space, and in general, avoiding any counter offensives from Jewel, he should be fine with Olimar. It's once the character gets touched, we're going to start to see an issue for old buzz. Right. And I've, I've talked with the buzz here and there, and I feel like the Rosa might be kind of going more towards the back burner because we have seen the Pocket Palutena come out here and there for him as of recent. So who knows, maybe maybe, maybe the Rose, Rosa won't make too many appearances, kind of gave Rosa a chance for about a month or so and you know, kind of was able to decipher if he still wants to use her in his roster. Like Rosa's got plenty of the sauce. It's just, it's so much work and it's not for not enough, I would yeah. say. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Olimar, you play your cards right. This character's got everything you need. We tried to get the spike to end Jewel's stock there. Again, with the purple, but does not line it up, and Jewel gets back on stage. But, man, the buzz only taking 29%. Tried to kill the purple with the Falling Fair, but the hitbox did not come out in time. Going to take kind of a lot of damage from that white. Gets the grab, though. I think what's going to be really important about these early games is Jewel figuring out his spacing for what he can approach with, what he has to respect. Because you cannot be diving too low onto Buzz while he's sitting there, Pikmin lined up. Yeah, Pikmin lined up and lines up that down air. Gonna nail that spike, but right there, gonna snipe out the purple Pikmin. And one thing I just realized is that the whichever Pikmin are out are actually going to have a huge impact for DeBuzz's advantage state. A property of the Pikmin that we've already seen come to play multiple times is the yellow Pikmin's immunity to the static element. Yep. All the 11 swings and all of the thunder spells leave no impact on thunder's ability to break through the robin. Yeah, so, so it's going to be really tough for uh, Jewel to, if a yellow Pikmin is attached to him, I mean, most of his attacks are lightning, especially if you're using the Levin Sword. So we're always going to see a live projectile from the buzz as well as a live countermeasure for using one of his aerials. So don't be surprised if yellow hangs around a lot more than usual. Yeah, and even, uh, I mean, he usually throws the reds out, but the red can survive the arc fire as well. Yeah, it'll... Not look, too big of a deal, but... It's worth mentioning. Yeah. But, I mean... It's Purple who's sitting as the MVP here, yeah, as per usual. At the end of the day, as, as long as the Buzz got two purples on his lineup, he is frosty, and that is exactly it. But, looks like Jewel is going to slash right through that purple and take the Buzz's first thought. So there lies the, probably one of the major issues of the Pikmin. We'll put that in air quotes, just because, like, it's not going to be an ever-present issue. But if Pikmin are on their way as a projectile, they're going to leave a lingering hitbox for, for Joel as he starts to swing through them. And if DeBuzz is too, uh, too trigger-happy with his own approaches, he's going to bring himself Ooh. right into 11 aerial. Man, I wonder if Joel actually wanted a 11 aerial for forward air there um, when he got him off to the right side. That might have killed, honestly. 11 sword is very, very strong. Back to the stage, and there's 11 fair. Slowly but surely making work of this uh, second stock from the Buzz, but still the Buzz looking like in a very comfortable position. Yeah, the Buzz has been very particular with his movement, and he doesn't seem too stressed out on where he needs to be to punish Jewel. He's placing himself really precisely near the platforms or around the ledge, and he's doing so with a Pikmin lineup that lets him respond to anything that Jewel has. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, though. Tries to get the arc fire set up here, but the, the Buzz is just 
Still not taking that much damage. And the offstage purple snipe is going to catch that double jump. Very, very solid two stock coming out from the Olimar. Julian, deep thought here as he figures his next stage. I feel like Stadium also g gave a good amount of leverage to uh, DeBuzz's Olimar. So, okay. seeing the pick to Battlefield for game two, not too surprising. Going to give plenty of airspace for uh, Robin to start to deny. Levin Aerial starting to matter a lot more. And in general, the fact that it's not as laterally oriented is going to mean that throwing the Pikmin is a bit more of a commitment for DeBuzz. And I feel like that's going to be important. Okay. Definitely uh, very good points there. Is the arc fire. Yeah, look at this pressure, man. And I mean, if you're going to shield it, I'm going to keep throwing them. 30% right off the bat here. The down throw into the Levin there. And, ooh, man, just like that, Joel is cooking it up 70%. He's able to get the damage on board now that he's got you know, less room to have to worry about chasing the buzz, more about fighting him. But if yep. he can secure the kills, the more important part. Yeah, I mean, right now is prime kill percent for uh, Olimar. I mean, you got him at that 70, 90% mark. Very, very light character. Try to snipe him out with the up B, and he does on the second rep. He's going to manage to get that uh, the spike from it. All right. Kind of a risky maneuver, too, as Olimar is not particularly uh, slow when it comes to moving in the air. Yeah. Can be tough, and this arc fire on ledge can be very hard to deal with. This is no double jump on the buzz. Is he going to get the... Ooh, he almost gets the landing, but Jewel, I mean, doesn't die there, though. Ooh, I like that. Right back onto the ledge here. Oh, wow, the yellow up smash does take it out. Looked like he was about to neutral B. Yeah, he was looking to use Thoron, but because plenty of startup on Hello. Thoron, he's going to catch lots of damage even Hello. coming out here. Look at this, 64. I'm Olimar. <laughs> I do lots of damage. And just like that, man, <laughs> with the platform extensions, that's why I feel like the buzz is so comfortable on this stage. Oh, man, there's no double jump on Jewel here. The purple snipe, there was nowhere to go for Jewel. And what a turnaround for the buzz, man. He comboed forward smash into grab. Can I call the Smash <laughs> Police right now? Nah, what, you can't catch him. What is Nintendo's number? I need to report a bug in the game. <laughs> he actually just comboed forward smash into grab. It's wow. It's the wow, like the most rank of options because you're getting sick damage or hit stun on someone, no matter what. The fact that you get these types of follow ups because of the nature of the Pikmin makes Omar such an interesting character, for better or worse. <laughs> it's crazy because I've I've watched so many Ultimate sets and just there's you get surprised so much times. You get to see something new all the time, and that's the cool thing about Ultimate. <sighs> Nothing cool about an SD though. That that sucks, but Almar or no, the Buzz will go up 2-0 in this set. And Jewel was looking very, very strong in the beginning of that game. It, very, it looked like he got his footing in the set, man. And just like that, it, it's just crazy because, you know, the Buzz is known for his defense, but he is no stranger to momentum. Yeah, no, that was just a complete, like, renegade game for the Buzz. Completely stole it all. She looked like uh, Joel was a little shook and even managed to break him off of his Robin for the time being. Lucina coming out, and Lucina, I feel, a very, much more traditional character for uh, fighting the likes of Olimar. Yeah, Olimar definitely doesn't have the uh, best recovery in the world, and Lucina definitely got the slashes off stage. Probably known as one of the more consistent edge guarders, because even if you do miss an edge guard, you can get back to the ledge like fairly quick, and then your that upbeat is very quick has a hitbox. Sometimes you get that tail end of the upbeat by the ledge and you can combo it into a ledge drop, double jump back air as well. So very good uh, just edge guarding character. And I mean, we'll see if Joel is willing to go off stage, which yes, he is against Olimar. Definitely wants to get those stocks very, very early here. But double purple, no double jump. Ooh, the stall with the side B actually killed him, but he did not get hit by that purple. <laughs> so that was hype. He did his best, man. But the puzzle is doing such a good job of denying space. It's just making Jewel difficult to move where he wants to. And yep. I feel like that's having more of an impact than anything else. Especially here against Lucina, where like she has to put herself in a position to be able to swing at you. Otherwise, she's just going to be at the mercy of all of the zoning pressure. But if she can't break your zone, she's not responding to that type of a damage. Yeah, it can be pretty hard sometimes to hit uh, forward air or nares on Almar because of how short he is. You got to sink them very, very low. You have to be uh, very comfortable with timing how and when you fastball with set aerial. 
See right there, he tried to get that uh, Nair one confirmed into the smash attack, but did not sink the Nair low enough. There it is, finally, Jewel. Landing that confirm he's uh, been going for, and that is going to be the Buzz's first stock. The white does latch on, but doesn't get too much ticks off. Yeah, this is... So, one really specific note about the Pikmin, they've got, like, three locations they can latch on to for every character. Okay. And depending on where they latch on, you have to be aware of what you're going to do that can remove them as quick as possible. So it's like head, torso, legs? Yeah, it's like something like that. It's like three designated spots where it's basically, like, front, back, top, and that changes based oh, on every okay. character. Front, back, top. All right, sick. That's the way that I've generalized it. Okay. But for the most I didn't part, know there was three set locations. I just thought it just latched onto whatever part of the body. So that's that's cool. I learned it really recently. Olimar's got a lot Cat of quirky things. Okay. Yeah, Tried to do something spicy cute. up in here, Jewel. All right, I see you. I mean, at this point, you you kind of got to get spicy, right? You're you're down an entire stock. You gotta you gotta make the sick plays happen. Yeah, man. It's the difference between do you end out your tournament at fifth place or do you get a win on Debuzz? What do you want more? Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, I like the wave bounce there, but no, no bubble jump. No tech from Purple Pikmin picks it away to a 3-0 in favor of Debuzz. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not...